How's it going everyone? Marco Moreno here today with Jaden. We're gonna show you a very effective choke from the bottom that could be used in a self-defense situation. And I like this choke because you can use it in a situation, for example, when you're on the bottom and you don't have room to escape and to get out. Okay, so you're against a wall or in the back of a car and this choke will incapacitate the attacker if it's well applied. So the first thing, if you can, is controlling the guy's posture. Okay, so this is a good defensive position for Jaden to control my head because if he doesn't and the guy wants to get up, then the guy can strike from here. But if you control, maybe pull me with your legs, boom, boom, and control the posture, then I cannot get up, okay? From here, she's gonna start inserting a thumb inside my collar. So this choke is very sneaky, okay? And then she's gonna start inserting the second hand, palm up. From here, she gets a foot on the hip and an angle and look, at this point, he, she has the choke. All she needs to do is cross the feet again. And... So from here, what I wanna do is break the bad guy's posture because I don't want him to be in a striking distance from here, strike, Jaden. Okay, like from here, kind of strike me. So I'm gonna use my legs to pull the guy and bring him in my, under my control of my arm here, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna start inserting my thumb in the collar right here, okay? Boom, the thumb is in. The second hand goes in, palm up. See, like this. So I have this situation, got it? So look, thumb, and then when the, you insert the second hand, make sure it goes deep. Don't grab, what's the right, Jaden? Don't grab here. Go as deep as possible here with the second hand. So insert the thumb, bring the second hand deep. So now you have the choke set up. The guy at this point is not feeling anything. Okay, do you feel choke? No. Nope. Right, and he's very unassuming, right? He doesn't feel like nothing's gonna happen, but you put the foot on the hip right here, my left foot on the hip in this case. I'm gonna get the angle. As I get the angle, my elbow loop, and now the guy feels the choke. I cross my legs and what I do is I use my, my chest to open to put the pressure on the neck, all right? So it's not, uh, when you end this choke, it's not this, okay? It's not that the collars choke the person. The top person should feel the wrist, this wrist here on this side and on this side, my other wrist. Now, when I get the final uh, position, it's not this, look. It's not me lifting the elbows, okay? When you get here, it's important that you, first of all, close the distance and open your chest, okay? You go like this. The power comes from opening your chest, not from lifting your elbows. The critical detail is the position of this thumb, okay? If it's too narrow, when you do the angle, your elbow is not gonna make it, it's gonna be too tight, okay? If this thumb is too low here, when you get the angle and loop, then it's gonna be too loose and your wrist is not gonna put pressure on the attacker's neck, okay? So the idea is that the thumb goes in a, in a position where it's in between, not too narrow, or not too low here. I would say use the ear as a reference and that will be a good spot for your thumb. So don't go narrow or low, right here. So that way, when you create the angle, the elbow loops no problem. And then when you end up, you end up with a wrist on the neck. Cross, open your uh, elbows and extend your legs and you got a choke. I know what you've been thinking. 
But what if the guy is not wearing a jacket and he's only wearing a t-shirt? You still can do it if the attacker is wearing a t-shirt. This is how it works. It's Jaden. So what Jaden is gonna do when the, the situation comes, she's, she's gonna go and grab and gather some material of the t-shirt, right? And from here, once you have a big chunk of material, she's gonna do the same, uh, same process. She's already has the thumb. She's gonna come with the second hand, palm up, deep, perfect. And then the guy is right here, right? Put the foot on the hip, you need this angle. Okay, so your hip goes here and then look, the elbow loop. And now, I'm getting tough. How does this strangulation works? Okay, well, uh, you're applying pressure on the side of the neck and therefore um, you are cutting circulation to the brain and the guy, if you keep the pressure, is gonna go to sleep, okay? How long does it take for him to pass out? Uh, seconds, if well applied, between five to 10 seconds. Of course, after the guy pass out, uh, if you keep the choke for a few other five seconds or 10 seconds and you release, he's probably gonna wake up and he'll be okay. If you keep the choke for an extended period of time, you can cause some brain damage and even death. Okay, so that's how this choke works. Of course, I will always recommend you to join a Jiu Jitsu, legit Jiu Jitsu school. Don't practice at home, but this is the power that you can have if you start learning Jiu Jitsu. Please subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. I'd like to hear what you wanna say about this choke. Thank you.